Well, we've been watching the negotiations that have been happening between Russian officials and Ukrainian officials. At the same time, there are a number of initiatives that um, have been undertaken by the government of Israel, by Turkey, to potentially establish a, a mediation channel. Um, but what do you think the West should be doing to help facilitate some sort of negotiated settlement to this conflict? Should the West be doing more to provide Putin an off-ramp to resolve this crisis? Well, I think um, uh, obviously it's it's rational and it's it's um, it's good to uh, keep on working in 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 order to have those channels. And and it was also the president of Finland uh, uh, also called Putin last Friday. So we have also played um, some role in 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 making sure that Putin gets some real information from the other side. And also uh, we have been testing a different. Uh, different possibilities for a ceasefire and then later on uh, for a permanent peace. Of course, all of this has been done in, in close coordination with, uh, with the Ukrainians and President Zelensky uh, himself. Uh, I think uh, there are a lot of activities in, in trying to make this happen. And I don't see that, uh, that um, we have less room for peace because of the lack of those efforts. I think the efforts are there. Uh, perhaps the problem now is that uh, uh, at least I don't see, and, and, and many others don't see, how serious, um, uh, how seriously the size and, and Russia is 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 uh, ready for this kind of a settlement or peace. And then one has to keep in mind that um, um, it's not an easy or kind of a, it's not a, simply a practical issue because uh, um, I think any any anything anything like um, a solution that. Uh, would uh, kind of uh, violate Ukraine's uh, position as, a, as an independent country, sovereign country. Uh, I think that would be rather difficult uh, to see because, uh, as I said in the beginning, this attack and invasion by Russia was totally unprovoked and illegal. So uh, I think it's uh, up to Ukrainians uh, first and foremost, but also uh, uh, bearing the, the, the brunt of the fighting uh, that they have to they have to be on the driver's seat to, to, to decide what is the good solution for them uh, now and also in, in the future. So we have to see how serious this is uh, uh, and, and where it leads to. But uh, I think we are not there yet uh, to give any, anything like a kind of a final assessment what, what the solution might look like.